Hey guys, so for today's video, we are doing probably the easiest eye makeup look I have ever posted on my channel. I've been wearing this look all the time and I always get questions, Angela, what's on your eyes? And it's literally just a highlighter and a bronzer. It's so simple and it's so easy for beginners and I kept this really simple by only using one eyeshadow brush as well. So if you have a bronzer, a highlighter, and a makeup brush, you can easily do this eye look. I will link the products that I used today at down below in the description box in case you wanna check anything out. And the one brush I'm using is by Sigma, it is the E25. And I think this is a brush that pretty much everyone needs in their eyeshadow brush collection. And I'm not the kind of person to say like you need to buy something, but I think that this is a staple in every brush collection. So if you want to check out this brush or any other Sigma products, my code Angela Bright would save you 10%. So if you want to see how I did this very beginner friendly, simple eyeshadow look, go and keep on watching. So as always with any eyeshadow look, you want to start with an eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to use this one by Essence. I've been loving this recently and it's only $4. And this primer goes on clear, but it really does make your eyeshadow last all day long. It's also a hydrating primer too, so if you have dry eyelids, this would be great for you. I'm using an angled concealer brush to apply this. This is a Sephora number 71 brush. And then I just like to take my finger and just really pat in the primer. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my face powder to set my eyelids. This one is by Kosas. And I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I like to set this right in the crease area because that's where I'll be blending. And you can really use any kind of face powder for this, whether it's translucent or it has a little bit of a tint to it. That's totally fine. Now for this look, I wanted to keep it really, really simple and only use one eyeshadow brush for the whole look. So I'm just gonna use the Sigma E25. This is a nice fluffy blending brush. It's really good at applying shades in the crease and blending like that. But I like it too for the flat side so I can lightly pack on some color on my lid, which is just what I want for this look. So for the crease color, you wanna use your bronzer. You can use the same one that you used on your face, which is kind of the point of this whole look. And for my bronzer, I'm using this one by Hourglass. This is in the shade Nude Bronze Light. I also like this bronzer a lot because it has a slight sheen to it, but you can totally use a matte bronzer if you prefer. And I'm just gonna swirl my brush into my bronzer. So you can see the powder like that. And then I do like to tap off any excess. And I'm gonna blend this in my crease, starting in the outer crease, and bring it down to the outer part of my lid. And then once I have less product on my brush, I'm slowly going to bring it into my inner crease. Going to add a little more bronzer. And I like to make my eyeshadow at a slight angle, kind of following this angle of my lower lash line. So I am winging out this bronzer just a little bit. So there's what it looks like on. It's just a super soft little definition. This is the before with nothing on it. Now I'm gonna take more bronzer on the tip of the same brush and I'm gonna blend that across my lower lash line. And again, just bringing it outwards towards the tail of my brow and following this line of my lower lash line. All right, now let's do the same thing to the other eye. Again, starting in the outer crease, bringing it down to the outer lid. And then once there's less product on the brush, bringing it into my inner crease. Taking a little bit more bronzer, adding it to this outer part even more. And again, just slightly winging out the bronzer. And now taking more product on the tip of my brush and blending that along the lower lash line. All right, so there's what the eyes look like with just the bronzer on. You can totally stop here if you want. You don't have to add the highlight shimmery shade if you don't want to. Now with this brush, I'm just gonna kind of run it on the back of my hand just to get any extra pigment off of it. Now that I'm gonna be picking up a lighter shade. 
So nothing's really coming off, so that's good. Now you're gonna take your highlighter shade. I'm using this one by Rare Beauty in the shade Exhilarate. And I'm gonna pick some of that up on the flat side of the brush, just like that. Again, tap off the excess. And I'm just gonna lightly dust that across the inner part of my lid. So I'm just going back and forth with a really light hand. Now I'm taking a little bit more and bringing it more towards the inner corner of my eye. And same thing on the other eye. So taking that shade on the flat side of the brush, doing a light packing motion, and then taking a little bit more and bringing it into the inner corner. If you don't like to wear shimmery shades on your lid, you could totally use just like a vanilla or kind of light toned matte eyeshadow for this step. And now this is kind of an extra little step that I like to do, but I'm going to take another highlighter in just a lighter shade. This is a shade in Lighten, again from Rare Beauty. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that under my brow. If you are using these Rare Beauty highlighters, they are very pigmented and intense. You only need a tiny bit of product. And that is it for this eyeshadow look. Very, very simple with just bronzer and highlighter. I'm gonna go curl my lashes and pop on some mascara. I will be right back. All right, I popped on my mascara and for my mascara, I used the Give Beauty one. I really like the shape of this wand and this little tip at the end to really get those lashes on the outer corner. I love how my lashes look with this mascara. And when I do a simple look like this, I don't like to put mascara on my bottom lashes. That's just a personal preference, but if you like to do it, go ahead. Here's what the makeup looks like from more of a normal distance, but I just love how this looks. It's so natural, so bronzy, just adds like a little hint of definition to your eyes, but still nothing crazy. And it's very, very easy to do. And you probably already have these products in your collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.